All right, fellow travelers, welcome back to the Adventures of a Traveling Dawn. My name is Ben Schmino. We're still here in Austin, Texas for a couple more weeks, and I've got a special video for you today. I am not going to be the main star. The main star is today is going to be, of course, the dogs of Austin, including my buddy, my boy, my sister's dog. Everybody say hello to Mr. Shoto. What's up, Shoto? Give everybody a kiss. Give everybody a kiss. Yeah, there we go. All right, so we're going to be heading downtown into Austin and throughout the whole area, leaving all the way up to Williamson County and Leander, stopping at different places that are not just dog friendly, but dog centric. So let's go and have a dog's day in Austin. So the first stop that we're stopping at here with Mr. Shoto is a place called Lucky Lab Coffee Company here in downtown Austin. It's like around 25th, 24th Street off of Guadalupe. It's right next to the University of Texas. So uh, UT is pretty much Longhorns right across the street. Uh, it's actually kind of a cool spot. They actually started in Charleston, South Carolina as just a uh, like a coffee truck. And they went all around the United States, ended up in Austin. And they finally got a brick and mortar spot right next to the campus. Uh, so you're gonna see a lot of kind of like college kids around here. It's a great spot. It actually has this back um, backyard area that's connected to other places like, uh, it looks like a studio, movement studio, Kava. Um, they have like a Korean uh, barbecue uh, spot over here as well. So it's kind of a nice little cool spot. Very, very open. You'll have, um, just a lot of little games around and of course very very dog friendly but uh, yeah it's a pretty cool spot now to try some food since we're here at a coffee company gotta get myself a nice little americano just traditional i always put honey in mine let me know what you guys put in your coffee i'm pretty much just a kind of like a traditional like honey i use just that natural sweetness of the honey instead of sugar or anything like that so cheers Ooh, it's actually good coffee I'm not the biggest coffee guy, but the prize is they make their own Pop-Tarts. When I saw this, I was like, is that a Pop-Tart? It's like, yeah, no, they make their own Pop-Tarts. And I got the blueberry lemon Pop-Tart and it looks really good. Just like you've got the blueberry ice cream on top and of course the blueberry filling inside. I'm guessing there's lemon custard somewhere in there. Mm. That's good. Very good. I have a snipper over here. Hey, buddy, you want some? Yep. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think he liked that better than the treat we gave him a little bit earlier. He's like, that Pop-Tart's a lot better than the uh, the dog treat. Seriously, you give him one, he's just like... What a glutton. So that was the first place, Lucky Lab Coffee Company. I thoroughly enjoyed that. That was a really good snack, really good coffee. The place is really kind of cool. It's right next to UT, like I said. And I think Mr. Shoto enjoyed it as well. What do you think, Mr. Shoto? Shoto, how was it, buddy? Good stuff? Yeah. I think he really enjoyed his Pop-Tart. So, all right, onwards to the next spot. Okay, so we are at Shoal Creek Park uh, here in Austin, Texas. This is about a mile west from where we were uh, at the coffee company. And we are here uh, just to kind of like let Shoto kind of run around. It is a uh, dog park that uh, is an off-leash park, as long as your dog uh, behaves well. Uh, this is kind of like a place where they can kind of come and roam around. Mr. Shoto is just kind of like having the time of his life. He's met a couple of friends and all that kind of good stuff. Uh, but yeah, it is, it's a, it's just a nice little, it's part of the uh, Austin's uh, park and recreation um, system that goes throughout the city. You know, there's a lot of creeks, a lot of, uh, of course, the main Colorado River. So there's a lot of places. Austin is a very, very dog friendly city for sure. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's just a beautiful kind of creek and a beautiful uh, park that surrounds it for the dogs. So let's, uh, let's go and join Mr. Shoto as he has a lot of fun.
Okay, so our third spot today is a place called Austin Pets Alive. And Austin Pets Alive is this little thrift shop uh, that is basically, I think of like a Goodwill, but the money goes towards, uh, towards animals, particularly animals that have uh, issues like cancer and things like that. Uh, they actually do take, um, they do take in animals from the Humane Society, but they don't take in just surrendered pet, any surrendered pets. It has to come through the Humane Society and it has to be animals that have, um, that need foster care, uh, that have major issues and things like that, particularly, uh, medical issues and stuff. But it's really kind of cool. It's like a beautiful little, um, thrift shop. You can go in there, you can get whatever you want. There's a, a lot of clothes, uh, First floor is women's section, top floor is men's section. You have uh, sports stuff, you have electronics, all that kind of stuff that you would find in a Goodwill or any other kind of thrift shop. It's just that all the money there goes towards the animals here in Austin that need the most help. And it's actually really cool. So uh, it's uh, we're gonna go inside and check it out. And uh, I know uh, they actually do allow dogs, so Mr. Shoto is excited to go check it out as well. So it's tree time. Hi, Taking a treat. Hi, buddy. Taking a treat, buddy. <gasps> Sit. Oh, good, good boy. Sit. Good boy. All right. So that was Austin's Pets Alive, and that was that was actually really kind of cool. Just getting to talk to the people that were in there, um, and just kind of all the little stuff that you can buy in there. You know, it's just a traditional thrift shop, but they have a great kind of like um, they have a great cause when it comes to the animals. And I know Shoto had fun uh, looking around in the pet room and things like that. Of course, he didn't pick any of the toys. He's rather, he's rather picky about stuff, aren't you, uh, Mr. Shoto? Mr. Shoto, tell him how picky you are. Yeah, you're super picky. But anyway, that was an awesome experience. All right, so now we've only had really coffee, a pastry, and we've done some walking. We've done some thrift shopping. It's time to actually go get something to eat and maybe a beer as well. So let's go to the next spot. So by the way, just outside of the thrift shop, there's this kind of like little um, ice, um, what is it, like a food truck? It's like a, sh yeah, a shaved ice. Yeah, so truck. like a little shaved ice food truck. So my sister went ahead and got this lovely little shaved ice with some honey on it. All right, for Mr. Shoto. Let's see how he likes it. You like it, but we'll try it, buddy. See. What you think? <laughs> is Maybe it not? too cold for you? Here, bud. Does it need to melt a little bit? Yeah, maybe a little bit. We'll, we'll let it melt and see how you like it a little bit later. <laughs> okay, so the fourth place that we're stopping at here is a place called Yard Bar. This is in that north, this is about basically about three, four blocks up from uh, the thrift shop that we were at, the uh, Austin's Pets Alive. And it's really kind of cool. This is a great place to bring dogs, particularly when you live in this area. Uh, it, you do have to pay to get in. Um, you, get a, you can do a day pass, you can do a five day pass, or you can sign up for a membership as well. Uh, and it goes, of course, to not just the, um, the maintenance of this place, but that, of course, does go into uh, dog projects around uh, the city as well. So, but it's a, it's a fantastic, just basically kind of like big old yard where the dogs can run around. It's an off-leash park, and they have a bar connected to it, so you can go there, grab a beer, which I did right here. This is a uh, Thirsty Goat Amber Ale, by the way. <sighs> yeah. Good stuff. I love me some Amber Ales. But yeah, it's, it's a cool, cool park, and uh, it's just, it's a lot of fun for the dogs. I mean, there's so many dogs in here right now. There's count about a dozen and it's just Shoto's having the time of his life he's he doesn't even pay attention to us like we the moment we come in I've been trying to get the thumbnail picture for a while and he's like no I am playing so but yeah please enjoy Shoto as he plays here at the dog yard
Shut up. Oh my goodness. Alicia made a new friend. Hi. Oh my goodness. I gotta clean my glasses up. Yes. Oh my goodness. You're, you're so cute. What's kind of cool is like the dogs almost kind of become communal while you're in the park here. Like they, they'll all go up to other owners. You know, I've, we've had like three or four dogs just come and chill with us um, to hang out. Shoto's gone up and said hi to almost everybody. <laughs> but yeah, it's kind of like a cool little, uh, cool little communal concept when it comes to the pups. Oh, I made another little friend. Hello, friend. How are you? Oh yes. Oh yes. Love that ear scratch. So I have another new friend. I literally was just standing here fixing some stuff and then, uh, yeah. That is... Oh. This beautiful one is just at my feet, you know? Just chilling. Just, just, just saying hi. Just saying hi. Oh. So fluffy. So one fun thing that actually happens is every time anyone comes in, all the dogs that are in the in the in, in basically in the yard all come up to that gate behind me and they just they're, they're basically greeting all their new friends and it's so funny every time a new dog comes in everybody like wherever they're in the yard they like they seem to sense like friends and they all run to the gate it's absolutely hilarious okay so when you do decide to come here one thing to remember one of the big rules is when you come in and out of the exit you do one gate at a time. It's a two-gate system, so. All right, come on in. Good boy, Shoto, good boy. So yeah, you basically, we're exiting, but you close the gate behind you, and then you open up the next gate. Let me see if I can. Sorry. But yeah, that's how it works. That way you don't get any of the dogs getting out. Um, partially because you don't want them escaping and just running around, and partially because, honestly, Right over there is the, a very, very busy street. You don't want any accidents. So keep that in mind. There are rules. There's a rule book at the front desk when it comes to all of that. By the way, now it's time to eat. Okay, so it is lunchtime. Uh, at the yard bar, they have a connected um, facility called Fat City. And basically what they do is they give you, uh, you basically, it's basically sliders. Sliders, fries, tots. Uh, you can, I think there's like shakes and uh, chicken tenders as well that you can get. But I got basically what's called the fat stack. So these are sliders. These are delicious, just like little cheeseburger sliders. They just look absolutely fantastic. Um, you can have them with onions, pickles. Uh, they have different sauces, things like that. I got traditional double stack, cheesy, just give me meat, cheese. It looks like the bread, <laughs> the buns are actually made in house as well. They look really good. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. That's good. You can get a single stack, or you can get the sack, the sack stack, or the sack sack, basically. And it's um, three, uh, three of these sliders, with of course, some delicious fries as well. I got the crinkle cut fries. My sister got these tater tots right here. Honestly, these actually look bomb, more bomb than my um, my fries do. Yeah, I should have ordered the tater tots instead of the fries. That was really good. That was really good. So someone's a little tuckered out, but you're never too tuckered out for food. Right, Choto? Yeah, buddy. <laughs> now that's a good burger. All right, so that was Yard Bar. Absolutely fantastic place to bring your dog to, have a great time, have something to eat, have a beer, whatever, cocktail, whatever you want. Uh, we got one more spot to go to. We are on our way there, so. Hold tight. So by the way, we stopped at Jimmy John's on the way to our fifth spot. And uh, would you look at this guy real quick? Dude, I left you in the back. What are you doing in the driver's seat? Are you driving? No? Oh, okay, you get in the passenger seat. So is mom, so mom's gonna be in the... So Alicia, you're gonna have to be in the back seat. <laughs> Shoto. He's now in the, uh, there you go, Shoto. Come on. Big dummy, come here. Come here. What a goober. <laughs> My God. Left him in the back seat. He's in the driver's seat. He's ready to go. Ay, ay, ay. 
dog sometimes. Okay, so the fifth and final spot that we are stopping at today is a place, unfortunately, we cannot bring Mr. Shoto in because we are here at Leander's and Austin's SPCA facility. Uh, so you had a lot of dogs that are being taken care of here that might get a little rambunctious with Shoto around. So we're gonna go visit them personally without Mr. Shoto. So, but let's go and see the dogs and kitties, shall we? All right, so our first one we are meeting is this beautiful, beautiful, what kind of dog? She is a miniature Great Pyrenees. Miniature Great Pyrenees, this beautiful little girl named Minnie Mouse. Hello, baby. She was hit by a How car as a you? puppy, so she is stunted. Um, we love her all the same. What she lacks mm. in size, she makes more than up, like she makes up for more than oh enough with her heart. Goodness. Oh, look at you. Such a sweetheart. That's kind of like a fun little play area. You got the little little stepping area. Look at you. You got a full yard, Minnie Mouse. All right, so we are here in the backyard of the SPCA uh, facility. And it's, it's actually kind of cool. Like it has all of these different like pens. Each dog that's staying here has kind of like their own little outdoor area that they go in and they can, you know, hang out by themselves personally when it's their outside time. Um, uh, you also do have a little bit further down that way over there. Uh, there's kind of like the intake area where it's like dogs that are coming in from like kill shelters because this is a no kill shelter. They'll put them over there to get them kind of used to the area uh, before they start joining everybody else. And then there's of course also an open field area back around that way. And that's kind of like an open field area where the dogs get to come off leash and just like run around and have a good time. We're gonna meet a few more of the dogs. Uh, we just uh, met Minnie, uh, who is a absolutely beautiful little girl, uh, but we got a couple more coming up right now. All right, so I got Andy here, this beautiful, beautiful buddy right here. Hey, big boy, Andy. He's sniffing. He's like, oh, time to go, oh, hang on. Cover, <laughs> cover your eyes. Everybody look away. Andy, private time. All right, Andy. He doesn't know. You ready? Stiff. Good boy. Oh, good buddy. How old are you, Andy? Um, we think he's about two, two or three. Nice two, three-year-old buddy. He's very active. He's very sweet. His favorite thing is giving hugs and sitting in your lap because he thinks he's a lap dog. Hi, All right. So a two-year-old lap dog. Oh my goodness, he is such a beautiful dog. Got 100 pounds. Just remember, every dog that you see here at the SPCA in Leander, if you're in the area, um, or if you don't mind traveling, they're up for adoption. Come and check them out. Check out their website. I'll leave all the links into the stuff. But yeah, so this is Mr. Andy. Right here. All right, so my, uh, my next one is this lovely, beautiful lady, Miss Thelma. Hello, beautiful. You sniffing everything? She is a sniffer. She loves adventures. Oh my goodness. She could go, go, go forever. And who, uh, so Thelma is what? She's a pit bull mix. And as you can see, she's very uh, block headed, but don't let that stop you. She is a love. She loves nothing more than oh, to get up in your goodness. lap and cuddle you. Hello, She baby. loves to be the center oh, yes. of attention and she loves to give oh, kisses. Yes. She's a kissing machine, Miss Thelma is. All right, so our next pup is the second half of Thelma and Louise. That's right, we have Thelma and Louise here. This is Louise. Look at this beautiful baby. Who are you, Louise? She is also just as playful as her sister. She's got this little football here. She doesn't want it right now, but she loves to play fetch, and she will gladly bring the toy back for you for hours oh, of fetch. Oh, my goodness. She looks so lovey-dovey. All right, so my last one here that I am, uh, I get to see is Miss Beth. Look at this beauty. Hello, baby girl. Oh my goodness, Hi. who are you, Beth? All right, Beth, tell everybody about yourself. Beth, can you sit? Beth, can you sit? 
Take it nice. Good girl. All right, Beth. Take it nice. She is an all around great dog. She knows several tricks. She walks amazing on a leash. She loves to go for runs. Mm -hmm. And believe it or not, she even loves to go swimming. She will gladly go swimming with you. And if it's a long, hot day, just put a pool outside and she'll happily jump right in. This girl is sweet as could be. Gets along with other dogs, people, doesn't matter. She's a love. Oh my goodness. How could you say no to that face? Okay, so we're actually coming inside. We're gonna go, we're gonna see a couple of the cats here. The first one here is Mr. Timmy. Look at this beautiful young man, two years old. I don't know how this guy is in here, but oh my goodness. Look how cute, oh. You know, the cat that we have at my mom's place, she's a bit of a pain in the ass, you know. She, 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 she don't like to be touched unless you tell her. This one, Mr. Timmy, he's like, give me all the love. I've been told that Timmy is a hugger. Yeah, buddy. Look at you. Yeah, so if you're ever in the need of a cat here in the Williamson County area, definitely try and check out Mr. Timmy. He's, he's just absolutely lovable. Okay, so the last two that we're going to see here for the cats is Zip and Zap. We actually can't go in to see Zip because Zip just had a medical procedure done, so he's a little loopy right now on <laughs> uh, whatever he's got going on. But we're gonna go check and see Mr. Zap here. Uh, they are a bonded pair, uh, go ahead. Um, but uh, so if you do want them, uh, it's best to get them as a duo, partially because uh, they have basically been with each other their whole lives, uh, so you don't you you don't want to separate them. And of course, here at the shelter, if you get both of them as a bonded pair together, you only pay for the price of one. But I mean, who could pass up, Mr. Zip and Zap? Hello. Oh my goodness. So lovey dovey. Hello, Zap. Say hi to the world. All right, so that was the SPCA of Leander in Williamson County, just north of Austin, Texas, about half an hour north of uh, Austin, Texas. And that was both a, you know, it was such an amazing experience as well, so kind of sad. You know, it's, it's kind of sad that all these animals just, they don't have homes yet. Um, particularly how sweet some of those guys were and some of those girls were, they were just adorable, adorable dogs and cats. However, part of that is because of the COVID pandemic. You know, this, this shelter has not been open to the public in basically two years. Actually, the day that this video drops is the day that the public is allowed to come back. Uh, before the last couple of years, you've had to actually make a, uh, a make an appointment to come in. So now you can come in and they have public days going forward now that the pandemic has uh, begun to wind down quite a bit. So, but anyway, guys, that is the end of a dog's day out here with Mr. Shoto, my my big old buddy right here. He's been my, he's been my fun fun buddy of the last few months that I've been here in Austin, Texas. Uh, but anyway, I want to thank you guys for watching. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you're ever here with your dogs here in Austin, Texas, you now know some great places to come. And you know what? If you're looking for a, to adopt a pet, come here if you're in the area for Leander and check them out. I'll leave links in the description uh, for all their stuff to donate, all that kind of good stuff. But anyway, guys, I will see you on the next adventure. Just make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe down at the bottom, and I will see you guys on the road.